Hello and good evening everyone. I am Gautam Sodi and I welcome you all on the Facebook live of Sports Wiki. Well today I am joined by Men in Black. You people know him as Tahir Ibn Manzoor. And we too would be talking about the third one, uh, one international between England and India. Which would be played in Headingley Leeds later today. Talking of this three match ODI series. It has been levelled at one all after winning the first one day international. The team India was bowed down against England in the second game in loss. It was courtesy a brilliant 100, a 12th ODI 100 from Joe Root, which eventually helped England beat India by 86 runs and helped them level the three-match series one all. Well, the series decider, it would be decided. The game would be finished here in Headingley Leeds. And I am joined by Tahir to talk about this. Tahir, speaking of this big game, what all expectations you have from it? Uh, like if you talk about the T20 series recently, the way it has panned out, India won the series and then by 2-1 and we are on a similar note, we are seeing this uh, ODI format after India won the first game and England certainly came back strongly, the way they performed, Joe Root scored a sublime century and the way he played against Kuldeep Yadu has been somewhat a major role uh, for England in particular and they have been dominating in the 50 over format, so a lot has been expected. Uh, in this game, like the, what, there would be overcast conditions, so fast bowlers might uh, might come into the play. So it's all, all going to be a thrilling encounter between both uh, uh, two giants of the international cricket. Well, surely Thai says that this contest between two giants of international cricket, the number one ranked side in the world, England, and the number two ranked side in the world, India, they would be squaring off in this series decider in Headingley Leeds. The match will be starting in a very short while from now, and as expected, the toss will be taking place in short time as well. Thai now speaking of England in Russia didn't really come home. Would it come home at Headingley head, England? See, there is a possibility like the way England has been performing after 2015 debacle in the World Cup. So they made the comeback. Like here Morgan has led his side well. The way the batsmen have been performing has been brilliant story for them. And they have been uh, doing wonders in the 50 year format in particular if you uh, see, uh, see the last year as well. Take a look at the uh, 2016, they have been somewhat uh, doing brilliant as a team, as a unit. Like uh, if they, if you talk about their bowling lineup, they have improved a lot. And at their uh, home ground, they have been performing well. In the recently concluded <coughs> series against Australia, the way they performed has been exceptional. And against India, which is a do a do another dominant side, uh, place uh, number two in the ODI rankings would be crucial for them. Uh, as Ian Morgan himself <coughs> has pointed out that. Uh, they have to give their best and, uh, and uh, if we talk about the staying at the perch in the ODI format wouldn't uh, matter much but they have to win against India anyhow. Well England they need to find ways to beat India in this series decider talking of the T20 series earlier before India had beaten England 2-1 and Tahir says that the same result we can expect today to happen. India might just inch over England in this game and well I say that both these sides have got a clear chance of looping over each other and make sure that they are taking the series home. Post this one day international India would be facing England in the five match test series of which the first over should be played in at Bastion Birmingham starting August of 1st. Uh, Tahir, you mentioned about the conditions uh, at Headingley Leeds. You know, you mentioned that there would be a partial cloud over there. We can expect thunderstorm uh, to pave their way as well. Looking into these considerations, bowling first would be a better option? Definitely, it is going to be uh, a better option for the team. Like, we, if we talk about this uh, grand finale of this uh, series, we already seen the way England has bowled in the second order has been phenomenal for them after they uh, just lacked in the first game against India. But the way, uh, the way they made the comeback has, been, and has itself made a strong statement uh, of being a side which uh, has been delivering the fit or format on the other side. Uh, sitters are definitely going to be a threat from Indian side. If you talk about Kundi, the other and the other in particular, that, uh, we can't uh, just uh, uh, talk about only the fast bowlers in this game, but uh, Kuldeep Yadav and Yudhan Chal could be expected for, for, from India on this particular surface as well. Well, that you said that Kuldeep Yadav, Yuzavinda Chahel, they would be holding a key to India's success in this game. As mentioned, fast bowlers haven't really done enough to, you know, talk much about them. In the absence of Bhuvneshwar Kumar, Jaspreet Bumrah is injured. He didn't make it to the squad. Bhuvneshwar Kumar's return to the playing 11 could really boost India's chances today. Do you see that happening or do you see that Virat Kohli won't be taking risk keeping Bhuvneshwar Kumar on the bench and would say just okay, we are happy to have Siddharth Kohli and Umesh Yadav on a line up? Uh, see, there could be a possibility having Bhuvneshwar Kumar on this uh, side like they are playing a crucial game uh, series 
uh, is there. Like if you talk about uh, the other bowlers, they have somewhat performed well, but uh, as being uh, as a spearhead uh, in the team, always plays a crucial role. So they, he would like to have him, but. Uh, if you take out my opinion from this, I would uh, just uh, uh, sit him out. Like uh, the t uh, test series is coming around, <coughs> which would be uh, crucial for, uh, for the team in general. But uh, Virat Kohli can just uh, pull up surprise any time. Well, for all those who are wondering that what time the match would begin, 5 p.m. Indian Standard Time is when the Indian team would be taking on England in this series decided in Headingley Leeds. Well, as far as the result of this series is concerned, India, they had won the first game convincingly before England. They thumped the visitors by 86 runs and lost to level the series one all. The series would be decided today. Who would be taking it home? Would it be India? Would it be England? Well, we would be letting you know in a short while. Well, before the toss takes place, I would want all of you to have a look at the predicted 11 of both the sides once again. Uh, speaking of India's predicted 11, apart from Bhuvneshwar Kumar making it to the playing 11, do you see any other changes? Would you see? Would you want that uh, Suresh Raina should be benched? And if yes, then why? Uh, no, I don't think there would be too many changes. Like uh, if we talk uh, about uh, Suresh Raina, he has been here. Like the way he has pl played in the first game has been uh, has played a, a pivot role. Like we talked about in the second game uh, as well, alongside Vira Virat Kohli, other uh, even the other batsmen failed. But they would like to uh, go with the same side, uh, sa same team. Other than if uh, we talk about Vinesh Kumar who could just sneak in, in place of uh, Siddharth Kul and on the other side don't see too many changes in the Indian lineup because making the change would definitely somewhat hit somewhere in the team around. Well, Tahir doesn't really expect too many changes that Virat Kohli and the team management they would be making for the Indian team. The playing 11 against England today. Tahir, speaking of England, Jason Roy injured his little finger in the other game at Lords. But, uh, you know, uh, the, the, uh, the player Sam Billings have been included into the, uh, into the squad for them. Do you see that Jason Roy might be just taking the risk of playing this game or would you ask Sam Billings to make way uh, in the playing 11? Uh, see, uh, if you uh, take my opinion, like if you talk about uh, uh, Jason Roy, who has been major threat at the top early on, scoring quick runs for the team and it's somewhat changing the composition of the game. Uh, too early, but uh, it would definitely be a huge dent for the home side playing the, uh, in this crucial game. Like it's going to uh, decide the series. It would definitely uh, be a huge asset for India if you talk about India's point of view. But Sam's Billing is also that sort of a player who can just score runs. He has uh, somewhat shown us in the I IPL as well, so he could be a player to watch out for. Well, Sam Billings could be the player to watch out for if he gets included into the playing 11 in place of injured Jason Roy. We'll get to see after the toss takes place. It could happen at 4.30 p.m. The match between England and India, the series decider of this three-match ODI bilateral series, which is taking place in Headingley Leeds, would start at 5 p.m. Indian Standard Time. Uh, now, Tahir, before the toss takes place, and we would uh, let people know about the team sheet. England team, you know, down the order, uh, they've got firepower, they've, they've got Butler to bat down the order, they've got Stokes, they've got Moin Ali. Don't you think player with such high class technique, with, with form on his side, I'm talking of Josh Butler, shouldn't he be promoted up the order, shouldn't he be given more overs to play just to make sure that England is getting more runs under their cover before India introduces spinners uh, in the attack? See, if you talk about their batting position, they have the players settled that, that might be playing in the mind of uh, Ian Morgan. They have the players who can just uh, play on their uh, spots, particular spot. So that might be a major worry for him to just that might uh, uh, on, only on put jitters uh, in the li uh, lineup. If you talk about batting uh, order, they have the Jason Roy already, already there, and Alex Hill's injury has uh, dealt morale of the team in general. If you talk about other batsmen, Joe Root, who scored a century up, after struggling a lot. So this might be playing the mind of uh, captain to not tinker with the lineup as well. But uh, uh, if we talk about Josh Butler, who has the ability to come early and score runs, he has shown that in the uh, recent year at IPL as well. So I could, exp I would like to have him in at the top as soon as possible. Well, that clears his point. He says that someone who is so good on form right now, Josh Butler, he should get promoted up the order at least in ga this game. Uh, the game where everything is at stake at the moment. Headingley is the one, the venue for this third match between India and England. And if Josh Butler really gets a chance to open the innings perhaps, or maybe asking to, down, uh, to come one down, you know, he could just make the difference England would be hoping for. Uh, now, Tahir, before we end up any of this discussion, uh, 
it's been seven games on the UK tour so far and we have not really seen the best of Virat Kohli. Are we, are we really waiting for something great to happen because we thought that he's been a better limited overs player. Two T20s against Ireland, three T20s against England and we are into the third game, the third one day international after this. Virat Kohli's nemesis, the, the red ball cricket in England would be back. Where is Virat Kohli? Why isn't he really scoring runs at the brisk pace he used to do? Or is he nervous, worried or something? See, there might be some nerves, but uh, talking about his batting, there is no doubt he's a great player. And he knows how to make a strong statement uh, in the uh, UK conditions as well. The way he had played in the uh, past in, in UK in particular has been a bad, a, bad, a bad patch for him, but he would definitely come good in this tour, particularly if we talk about uh, test f uh, format. But uh, it's a uh, series decided and he would like to uh, go at his best and score runs for his team and in fact win the series for the side. Well, we can really hope Virat Kohli to come good for Team India in this final one day international between both these teams. He hasn't really clicked so far in the series and with the, the management, the Indian fans and he himself, the captain of Indian team, would be hoping to come out good and score brisk ones. Perhaps his 36 or 100, it's been pending for a long time now. It's been a while that we saw Virat Kohli scoring 100 in one day international. Speaking of captain, I would be uh, putting in notice of the former Indian captain Mahindra Singh Dhoni in the second game against England at Lords. I must inform you all that it was Mahindra Singh Dhoni. He became the fourth Indian and the twelfth overall batsman to complete twelve, uh, pardon me, ten thousand runs in one day international. Tahir, a quick word on him, and then we'll be talking about his flow innings, which Gavaskar said he reminded me of his infamous 36 not out. But what a player he has been. Coming down the order, scoring 10,000 runs is, is a great achievement. See, he has been such a veteran. The way he has performed for India over the years has been phenomenal in general. If you talk about the uh, uh, batsmen at su having such a clever, and uh, if we uh, talk about the players who have been struggling between, and there have been the critics who are just... Uh, uh, said a lot about the players, but when it comes to the ground, it's all about players, the way they feel the pressure, the way they have to give their best. It, uh, it shows how the pr uh, promising player has been, uh, Dhoni in particular, like the, he has won three major World Cups for the uh, Team India, so no doubt he has been great, but uh, that, uh, he's past his prime, so the, but has been doing his best. He, he would definitely uh, like to give his best, like if you talk about in general, Dhoni has been phenomenal for Team India. Well, surely Mahendra Singh Dhoni, the ex-captain of Indian cricket team, he's been phenomenal. Well, the age is catching up with him. No doubt he is 37. His beard is getting, his hair is getting white, and that's all visible on the camera. But he and his reflexes are right up there. We can really hope to him that he comes good against England in this game as well. Behind the wickets, he's been really good. But when it comes to back while chasing, this has been a bit of concern for the management, for the fans as well. And it's been a while that all of them have been talking about the same thing. Uh, Tahir talking of Mahindra Singh Dhoni's slow innings against England. Suril Gavaskar said that when people are running out of options, they tend to go the negative way. How would Mahindra Singh Dhoni, as an ex-captain, would really think on to this? See, the, he has no option other than this, like uh, way, the way he has been performing. Is, uh, that We have been knowing that him as being a traditional batsman. He has been scoring runs and the way he has been starting off his innings, if you talk about in general, and uh, consuming too many balls, that has been the story of other batsmen as well. So it was not his day, we should just forget about that and uh, particularly focus on this particular game. If we talk about uh, the Indian point of view, Dhoni has been brilliant behind the stumps and he has performed for his team, like having the average in ODI format is uh, over, is over 50 and it is very incredible to say, like seeing ba such a batsman coming down the order and scoring runs in general has somewhat played a mighty role for India. Well, yes, India's lower order would be playing a pivotal role today. You've seen in the past as well, they have relied a lot on the shoulders of Shikhar Dhawan, Rohit Sharma and especially Virat Kohli. All three have come good on major occasions, but when they had failed, Indians, you know, on the other hand, they have really found it tough to catch up with the task, to catch up with the target and eventually they've been on the uh, receiving end most of the times. Tahir uh, before the toss, which would be a very, very crucial thing. You mentioned that winning the toss, bowling first would be a good option. But if a side, you know, if, if Owen Morgan goes on to win the toss, bowls first. What should be the strategy Virat Kohli and the team management should be making before they go on to bat? See, they should come and attack, like uh, pick wickets early and put pressure on the opposition because they have been strong. They have the uh, depth in the batting lineup, so that is the 
major point for the host side this time around. So they would de definitely like to come good and pick wickets early and put uh, early pressure on the host side. Tahir in the other game, in the second game at Lords, Joe Root scored his 1200, he scored 113 not out. It clearly showed one thing that why the number three spot in cricket in ODI setup or perhaps in the longer format is one of the most pivotal, most crucial uh, slot to bat. And that is why I think Virat Kohli as a batsman and when it comes to Kale Rahul in comparison to that, I think he should be batting at number three and Kale, he should be demoted to number four. Yes, this is what I believe in. Like uh, you, have, you should give, uh, give the chance to your best of the batsmen to play at the number three because at the top, at the top we talk about openers. They have scored runs and they have held in between. The uh, Indian story has been if you talk about first seed, they have been scoring runs and the middle order was has continued. So that has been somewhat story for India and in particular if you talk about our rival Pakistan as well. But in in general, if you talk about Virat Kohli, you should come at and bat at number three. So that is his position, ideal position, and he should just play uh, their, his role there, and that would be important for India ahead of the World Cup. Well, if Virat Kohli, you are listening to us, we can just give one all opinion. We say that do not move your batting position, just uh, stay at the number three because that is where you play your best and that is where we expect you to do well. So when it comes to KL Rahul, he's being such a talented batsman that he can he can get himself, you know, uh, things getting done on the number four slot as well. But Tahir, before I end up this discussion, uh, what all, uh, you know, score you expect team batting first to put and who would be your favourites heading into this game? See if we talk about the score. We don't know about the score, but I would expect them to score as many runs and put as many runs on the board on the board because you know the two dominant sides they have been performing. The recent past has been uh, incredible for the two nations as well. If we talk about this particular ga game, they have to at least put around 280 plus mark if they want to give their uh, give their team a chance. So having the overcast conditions, bowling first would be ideal, and they have to make most of it out of it. And I would uh, definitely go with India 60. Uh, 40. The way England has made a comeback, but <coughs> the edge would be with the Indians. Uh, if you talk about in general, like having the thrilling of a, cl a clash, it's all important clash, and the pressure would be there, and India knows how to get be better of pressure. Well, this man knows how to answer it. Well, India knows how to get the better of pressure in the crucial conditions. In the past, we have seen Indian team having the better of opposition into the junctures, uh, which have been very crucial into a particular game. I would like to thank Tahir for being with us on the Facebook Live of Sports Wiki. The toss will be taking place anytime soon. The team sheets would be out and the match between England and India, which is the series decider. Uh, this is the third game of the two, uh, three match bilateral series between England and India and it would be played in Headingley Leeds. The toss would be taking place in a very short while from now and at 5 p.m. Indian standard time, the match would begin. We can hope for a, a side who plays better cricket would go on to win. I cannot put up my favourite. Tahir says that it's 60-40 India. Let's see by the end of 100 overs who prevails the other one. For all those who have been with us so far on this, uh, this Facebook Live, thank you for joining and we would be returning soon to talk more about this game. Thank you so much.